Just so we're clear, um, this is not a Packers shareholder meeting. <laughs> I have the distinct privilege to uh, go before our Father and bless this time with our President. So you bow with me. Father, I humbly be be, uh, come before you today to intercede for our city and our nation. We worship your name, Lord, because you are worthy to be praised. You're a sovereign God, showing great mercy to our nation in its short history, and we are grateful and thankful. You're a God full of glory, and we are humbled to be in your presence this morning. We do not have enough days in our lifetime to give you enough praise that you are deserving. We thank you for the favor and blessing that you've given our nation despite our unfaithfulness. You are a holy God, an almighty God, a God of unmatched love, and we're humbled before you this morning. Forgive me this morning, Lord, our city, our nation, for our sins. Forgive us for forgetting you. We repent this morning for being the prodigal son who's left home and forgotten who our father really is. Forgive us for our pride that we masquerade as leadership. Forgive us for our greed. Forgive us for our cultural gluttony we call progress. Forgive us for our lust and our loss of contentment. Lord, we repent of our adulterous hearts that have turned to other lovers and forgive us for hiding behind religion when you've called us to a relationship. Forgive us for our hearts and our bitterness and hate toward one another when you've called us to love. Forgive us for looking the other way when it comes to the poor, the sick, and the afflicted. You are a righteous God, and you ask, and we will ask, that you open our eyes of our hearts this morning to see our own sin. We repent this morning of our sin and ask that you purify us, Lord, our minds, and take us back home. God, you are a great and awesome God who keeps his promise with all those who love and seek you, and we pray for guidance this morning for our country and its leaders. God, will you bring wisdom to our president and all those men and women in leadership in our nation? We ask that you guide our president. Give him an unsatisfiable hunger for your guidance in his life as he leads us. Will you protect him and his family? Will you also reveal yourself to the leadership of our nation? Will you come uh, in the next few days and weeks and open the eyes of hearts and captivating them with their love? Invade their lives with your Holy Spirit, Lord, and bring clarity to their minds, their hearts, and souls as they lead us. Father, we ask that you reestablish your presence in this land. Will you bring your spirit of unity to each of us and reteach us how to love one another? Restore our faith in you, O oh God. Lord, there is a special place in your heart, if you've called it, for the fatherless, for the children, for those who are poor and sick and oppressed, and we just pray a blessing upon them this morning. Will you be their provider? We pray for all those in our land and beyond who are hungry and thirsty. God, move in our land to continue to care for those who are less fortunate. We pray for the sick throughout our world and our country, that your hand of healing would comfort them. We pray for those who are oppressed from violence or abuse, that you would protect them in special ways. We especially pray this morning for those soldiers and families who have given their lives in service to our country and its freedom. We pray that you would comfort those families who have lost loved ones and protect those still serving. And last, Lord, this morning I pray for our city of Green Bay. Lord, will you teach us what it means to model what a city of love looks like? We unite our churches. We unite us in business in our neighborhoods. We unite us all, Father, to feed the poor, to help the sick. Will you make us an example to all other cities around this country and world? Father, we pray all these things in your Son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> 